Right. So you take a 5 8 wave CB aerial. You solder a PL259 with some wire down, this is only temporary, down to a 4 to 1 ballon I made myself. You run an 11 foot counterpoise at right angles away from the aerial. Now this can be on the floor. The aerial can be on the floor and the radials can be on the floor and it probably work better with four radials, four quarter, well not quarter waves, but four 11 foot radials out in a star shape, in a cross shape. But at the moment I'm just using one. I've had good results. So that's all it is. I do get RF in the shack. So you could do with a choke ballon on there. The radials on the aerial I've left on, they're not connected to anything. It's just the inner. Let me just show you. It's just a wire soldered to the oh yeah, hang on. Soldered to the inner. Not connected to the ground. So this is not grounded. The radials are not working. Here, these radials. Um say on the ballon, that's the radial. Now that is about fifteen foot when it 15 foot up as you can see it's on a pole telescoping pole it's noisy on the bands today so let's just tune it up. This is the uh, Yaesu 450 with built in ATU. As you can hear, it won't tune that. This is set on the um, on the PSK31 Digimon band on the frequency. Or near enough. There we go. As you can see, tunes 40. Tunes 30. Twenty. Seventeen. Fifteen. Ten. And six meters. Now it gets out on each band. Oh, you know what I mean? I've yet to put it through its paces. Fifteen's pretty good. And I know thirty's pretty good.